Hi, welcome back. My name is Heiko. Today I want to build with you a table saw fence slash router table fence with some space saving ideas you might haven't seen before. Because we all have the same problem, a too small workshop. So stay tuned. I have this table saw several years now. To make the surface a little bit wider and make the machine a bit more versatile, I installed a router table. That is pretty awesome to have two machines in one. Pretty good. But what I don't like about that is that all the stuff you, you need you have always laying around on the surface. And if you readjust the fence, everything is pushing around and, and that's, that's not so good. So to solve that problem, I built a little carrier. A little box where all my belongings are in that is actually moving with the fence. So pretty awesome so far. But I now need a fence that, uh, that is doing all the, the work for the dust extraction of the router table as well as being a little bit higher than this one for the table saw. But I really want to keep this possibility of storing all my stuff and usually all the fences they use the, the space inside for the dust extraction and with this build I have to go a little bit different way to have this handy box and still have a better fence than I have now. Let's jump right into it. The first part of the fence is the part that will give me a higher wall on the side of the table saw and will attach the new fence to the old one. I could not glue the body all together as I have to modify its parts of the space fence to attach the router table part later in the process. You will see that in a minute. To attach the new fence to the old one I use screwed inserts. I had to cut these inserts a bit as they were a little bit too long for the material I used. Thank you. 
the next step of the building process I will show you in a time lapse completely. That will only take a minute. The video runs four times the speed that it was recorded. Reason here is I want to show you how fast you can do corner connections with the biscuit system. So all the corner connections of the router table fence part took me four minutes to build in real time. To finish the router table fence I added film face plywood. I like that kind of plywood because it gives you a very smooth surface. It is an easy step as we have already the basic corpus ready and we just have to screw the covers on it. In case of my fence however I had to adjust the pieces a little bit to achieve exactly a 90 degree angle to the router table. I did that by adding some tape on the top part. For my router table fence I didn't want to have a sliding fence where you can adjust the sides and close the gap around the router bit. 
I went another way with different inserts. The advantages are that first you can tailor your inserts to the router bits you have and you use. And second, you achieve a closed router table fence system that leads to a good sliding workpiece and to a very efficient dust extraction. As a start, I made three inserts. One is a closed one I also use as a template for future inserts. One I made for the highest router bit I have and one for the router bit with the biggest diameter. I just used three screws to hold the insert in place so it's very easy to change. The dust extraction is as easy as you can build one. These are just two pieces of plywood glued together. I drilled a hole through that and pressed a piece of PVC pipe in it. It is a 2 inch or 50 millimeter PVC pipe. Most of the usual vacuum hoses will fit to that pipe or around that pipe or in that pipe. Doesn't matter. All my vacuum cleaners will fit in there. It's a very easy thing and you just plug it into that fence from the upside. You will see that in my case it was so tight that it fits and holds in place. So if this is not the case, you can easily uh, secure it with a little screw. Okay, this is everything for this project now. It's very good. I like the result a lot. I worked with it uh, several times now. Great. I really like how everything is stored aside, especially if you have a small shop like I have. Nothing is laying around, clean surface, easier and safer work. Uh, everything I add if I want to use the router table is the dust extraction port like this and you're good to go. If you like, like that project, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, post a comment below. I will return to you and uh, feel invited to subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate that. I hope I see you soon. Happy crafting.